welcome to Pittsburgh as you're watching college basketball on ACC Network Extra in tonight's game between the two-time defending MAC champion Buffalo Bulls and the 6-2 Pitt Panthers from the ACC. Both teams looking to mix it up here in the Peterson Event Center. Rock fired up, everybody fired up here at the Peterson Event Center. Jeff Hathorne with former Panther Curtis Aiken. The Bulls coming off a loss at St. Bonaventure. The Panthers a tough loss in the city game to Duquesne. Yeah, it was a tough loss, but here's the reality. Whether you're losing someone on your team because of a team infraction or because someone on your team got hurt, you have to find someone else to step up other than Mike Young. They didn't have anyone to step up, Jeff, because the Duquesne game and it cost them. And the Panthers will get Jamel Artis back, suspended for that Duquesne game. He is back and in the starting lineup, and when you pair him and Mike Young, 43 points, but Curtis, they need some more from the rest of the they, team. They really do. The two of the best in the business. When I say best in the business, I mean the ACC, the one-two punch leading the ACC in scoring, but you do need someone else to step up on more of a consistent basis. We talked to Coach Stallings before the game. He said, we have this Jones step up here and there. We have uh, uh, Cam Johnson stepped up, but we need someone to step up on a consistent basis. And as we look at the starting lineups, you see what is a normal starting lineup for the Panthers. Artis, Young, Jones, Jeter, and Cam Johnson. And for the Bulls, they've got some scoring punch in that lineup led by that man right there, Blake Hamilton, Willie Connor, Devontae Jordan, Nick Perkins, and E. Kenna Smart. As we get set for tip here, it's the Bulls and Panthers with tonight's officials as we get ready for the tip off here between Sheldon Jeter and Smart. And Jeter easily wins that. From Clarity, Pat Driscoll, and Tony Chiazza. You see the Panthers in the home white. Young, an early three. Well, he struggled in the second half against Duquesne, but it's good to see him get off to a nice start, knocking down a three from the top of the key. And Mike Young was big, and he missed his last ten shots against Duquesne. Good pressure here from the Panthers, and it's a, it's a half-court violation. No, a timeout. A quick timeout as we see Nate Oaks, the second-season head coach for the Bulls. Led his team on almost a miracle run to the MAC championship, a second straight MAC championship for the school. Oates took over after yes. Coach Hurley left to go to Arizona State, and of course Kevin Stallings in year one for the Panthers. And Coach Stallings six and two is he's trying to get an explanation as to why there wasn't a backcourt violation. 461 wins. That's 25th as you see among active coaches, just behind Mike Bray. And Kevin Stallings looked to get that team back on the right track, but that was that was t a tight time out there from <laughs> yeah, well, from good Buffalo. Piece, good piece of coaching by uh, Coach Stallings. Obviously, understand that this team averages 17 turnovers a game, and he's going to come right out from the beginning and, and set up a one-three-one full court press and kind of get a turnover off the start. You know, we always forget because we'll, we'll say things like "I never remember," but I don't remember a timeout after the first basket of a game this early. Well, they still have the possession, so not a bad timeout. Down to 15 on the shot clock as Buffalo finally works into their offense, and you'll see a lot of this guy, number three, Devontae Jordan, a freshman out of Florida. I really like him. He can get into the lane. Connor to Jordan. Jordan's not a shooter, but he's going to take a long one. Rebound, battled around, grabbed by Smart, knocked away, and controlled by Young. Here come the Panthers. Let's see if Artis can pick up from where he left off against Moorhead State, 17. Good look from Chris Jones down low to Sheldon Jeter. Yeah. Jeter finished it. He's been struggling himself, but Chris Jones might have been better served to throw a pocket pass. Jeter with the good hands. Connor thought about the three. He'll take those threes. He is not bashful. Good look down low, and Smart gets the first two for the Bulls. A 5-2 game. Jamal Artis working on the screen. Young's open, finds it off his hands, though, out of bounds, a turnover on the Panthers. I tell you, this Buffalo team's not bad. They have three guys scoring in double figure, and Hamilton, Col uh, I'm sorry, Connor and uh, Perkins. Very balanced scoring. It's a series that is nine games old. It was pre-World War I 
<laughs> when Buffalo won that game. See the drive in the lane, the kick out. Three, around and out, no good from Blake Hamilton. I tell you, Mike was really active on the board, boards earlier. Quickly the other way, Cam Johnson rejected by Hamilton. Hamilton, he's going to go quick between the entire pit team and misses and a foul on the Panthers. That foul on Michael Young. Willie Connor and Jamel Artis, two of the impact players in this game. We see Connor and his ability to shoot threes. But you look at Artis, more of a well-rounded player when yes. he fills up the stat sheet. Little Bismarck keep on the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Some substitutions as Smart comes back in. And Raheem Johnson, it's an interesting mix. Coach Oates will use a lot of different combinations during the game. Their big men don't play a lot of minutes. But, he, but at times they played some big minutes for them. Yeah, they do. And they, he goes 10 deep. And we expect to see for the first time this regular season, C.J. Massenberg for the Bulls. And we talked to Coach before the game. He talked about not double-teaming Artis and, and Young, but crowding them. And As an offensive see. foul on Jamel Artis. Devontae Jordan with the defense. And a quick foul on Artis. So a foul on Artis and a foul on Young. There's a replay here. As you see him, he didn't lower that shoulder. He probably would have been okay. But forced the referee to call it. Good trap, but escaping are the Bulls. Three for Connor, no good. A pit rebound. Cam Johnson. Johnson to Young to Artis. Johnson driving the lane, layup good, and a foul. Blocking foul on Hamilton. I think you'd like to see the young fella add a little penetration to his game. Nice job of good body control off the glass. And that's not normally his game. He was actually trying to avoid contact. Nice finish. He'll shoot the three, but drove the lane that time. Got to keep him honest, right? And Artis finishes the three-point play. We've seen a conventional bucket, a three-point play, and a three for the oh. Panthers. See Jordan's quickness driving the lane, kicking out. Hamilton open, but a foul call, an offensive foul on the Bulls. And that's on Perkins, his first. Chris Job has really done a good job. I know it's only five minutes into the game, but he's made some good decisions on the offensive end. Nice find and solid defense. Man-to-man -man defense for the Bulls. Jones working the screen down low to Young. Jordan's thinking double team. Young's left alone. Turnaround right there. And he has perfected that step back. A nice little body and get that separation. Young has as much arc as anybody you'll see in the game, but just picks up his second foul. Yeah. And Ryan Luther's going to check in for Young as we see the step back. And just his arc is amazing. You don't see too many players with that type of arc. Especially big men. So Young checks out at the 16.09 mark. And replaced by another Pittsburgh kid in Ryan Luther. Perkins will take the three. It looked good, just didn't go down. And over the back call on Raheem Johnson. Well, Perkins isn't happy because when Jordan picked up the offensive charge, he had swung the ball and knocked down the shot. It didn't count because it was an offensive charge. And then he gets an opportunity to get one live and uh, didn't go down for him, yeah, in and out. The substitution pattern reminds me of what you'd see at the end of a game 
where you have guys coming in to play offense and defense. We've seen the big men switch on and off a lot. Right. It's an early pit lead. It's 10-4 here in Pittsburgh. Welcome to Rogue One. In five days. Ready? Light it up. The wait. It started. Is over. The time to fight is now. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Rated PG-13. In theaters and IMAX 3D Friday. Get your tickets now. Here's one of our best elves, hard at work. What's right there? Nothing. The touchdown. Come on. Santa, the Davidsons are here to see our workshop. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Uh, this is my sleigh. It's how I deliver all the presents by myself. Santa, you got anything else going to Albany? By myself. <laughs> Ship with FedEx Ground at FedEx Office. It's how the holidays arrive. New Era Pinstripe Bowl, the Panthers and Northwestern coming up on Wednesday, December 28th at 2 o'clock. Tickets and hotel packages are on sale now. It's a short trip over to New York City, 800-643-7488 to purchase, or you can visit pittsburghpanthers.com. Great bowl matchup with the Panthers playing in Yankee Stadium against the Northwestern Wildcats. Big Ten ACC. Unfortunately, we won't be able to be there. I shouldn't say unfortunately because this is something we love to do, but it would be great to have an opportunity to see the Panthers in Yankee Stadium. And after the game, you can find us for Pitt basketball at 7 o'clock here. Inside the Jeter for the slam. Good ball movement. Jeter's getting off to a really good start. 12-4 lead for Pitt. And good pressure picked up by Jones. Here come the Panthers the other way. A look and a lefty shot, no good. Ball loose and controlled by Jamel Artis. He's going to set up the offense. Eight-point lead for the Panthers. They really energized here in the first minutes of this game. Drive by Jones, no foul. Off-balance shot goes down. <laughs> Count it. What is it the Buffalo coach Oates told us before the game? He was wary of a upset <laughs> Panther team. Yeah. Driving the lane, shot no good by Massenburg, who is seeing his first action of the regular season at a big exhibition game, but has been dealing with mono. Now back in the plans for the Bulls. Artist for three. Right there, Jamel Artis, his first points of the game. Well, the Panthers really responded. He, as you mentioned, the coach was concerned about the Panthers coming out and playing with a chip on their shoulders, and that's exactly what's happened with 14 minutes to go in the first half. Hamilton with Luther guarding him is going to drive the lane. Off balance shot, no good. Nothing falling for the Bulls. Haven't scored in three minutes plus. Artis, good crossover, spin, keeps the dribble, and gets it out to Jeter. Jeter for three, no good, rebound, Ryan Luther. Jones, drive around the defender, and a blocking foul on the Bulls. Ikenna Smart, and a three-point opportunity for Chris Jones. Panthers moving the ball well, and we're going to see a number of substitutions as we see this look from Jones to Jeter. Elevation. As you see Jamel Artis check out. And Ryan Luther is bleeding, so he's going to have to check out to have that looked at. So we'll see another substitution as see Chris Jones, seven points, three rebounds. Luther is something it's like right around the tricep. So Corey Manigault will check in for the Panthers. Not a lot of action for Manigault. But he gets a chance here. As Luther gets looked at, and we have a bit of a delay. Connor Johnson, Massenburg, along with Jordan. And McKenzie in the game. 
Luther stays, he just gets wrapped up. It's a nice penetration move again. And Chris Jones doing a nice job of attacking the glass. You don't, you don't have to check out in that situation. If the, if the trainer can tape it up, you can stay in the ball game as you saw there. Jones finishes the three-point play. Now Manigault will stay in the game. Jeter goes out. Now Jones is out. And you see for the first time tonight, Jonathan Milligan, the redshirt junior out of Orlando. That's the one kid that can really hurt you from outside. He can stroke it. This press has seemed to give the Bulls some problems. As you see Massenburg drive and score on Luther. And Luther was a little indecisive about which way to go. Always stop the ball. This is Massenburg. Had 36 in their exhibition game. Got mono, and this is his first game back. But, and a as, moving screen on Luther. As you said, you know, if Coach feels like if he can give us anything like he gave us when he exploded in that exhibition game, it's a plus for the Buffalo Bulls. So what he's going to have to watch is not overusing him. Jordan, 14-point lead for the Panthers, caught in the air, and Luther has it. Luther gives it up to Milligan, who will give it to Kithcart. Just as Kithcart, the freshman, to Luther, drives the lane and scores. Panthers shooting 74%. Massenburg on the line. Turnover for Buffalo. Some good decisions by the Panthers. Nice penetration move off the glass by Luther. Luther went up strong with the two hands and finishes. Six Panthers have already scored. It's a 17 to two run. Johnson, Luther, Luther thought about the three. Checks, drives, blocked, but a foul call. Luther showing a little versatility. Nice head and shoulder fake, put the ball on the floor, drove, the, picked up the foul. Foul on Quake McKenzie. Luther's first free throw down. Now I think of that scene from Hoosiers when I see him <laughs> with the gum. I want you to tell me what kind of gum he is at the end. Luther makes both free throws. Panther lead is 18. Once again, Massenburg drives and shot missed inside by David Kadiri. Buffalo's Inbound. getting their opportunities. They're just not able to convert some point blank shots. Inbounds for Buffalo. The Panthers. Everything's one-on-one. -on -one. No ball movement by the Buffalo Bills. Good rebound. Here comes Cam Johnson. Johnson cut off. Luther open for three. Around and in for Ryan Luther. Luther has been so solid for this team. Someone's dribbling, a lot of ball, a lot of, a lot of dribbling. Connor drives, and an offensive foul on Connor, his first. It's been quite a rebound for the Panthers after a loss in the city game. It leads it, 27 to six. This is the one. The one from her favorite movie. The one for an adventurer. The one she's been eyeing all year. Happiness is, happiness is, different things to different people. The gift they're waiting for is waiting on eBay. That's what happiness is. New, unique, and everything in between. Find it, add it, get it fast. Discover card. I'm not a customer, but I'm calling about that credit scorecard. Give it. Oh, sure. It's free for everyone. Oh, well, that's nice. And checking your score won't hurt your credit. Oh! I'm so proud of you. Well, thank you. Get your free credit scorecard at discover.com, even if you're not a customer. 
Shop for brand new pit merchandise and game day apparel from the official Panthers team store, including the new Oakland Zoo t-shirt. Check out all the new pit script gear by shopping online at pittsburghpanthers.com or visit us inside the lobby of the Peterson Event Center. And it has been all pit. The script has gone according to plan for Kevin Stallings coming back after a disappointing loss at the PPG Paints Arena to Duquesne. And, and 77% shooting early on for the Panthers. Well, if you're wondering how, how they were going to respond, I mean, 27 to 6 speaks volumes. It's a 22 to 2 run. Panthers also 3 of 4 from 3. Make it 4 or 5. And they're getting open looks. And a near turnover. Ryan Luther went for the turnover. The Bulls trying to get something going offensively. A near travel there by Jordan. Hamilton head fake. Luther dives on the floor and out of bounds. You say touched by Luther while out of bounds, so it will be Bulls basketball with 14 to shoot. Really good hustle by Luther there, but the entire Pitt basketball team is very active defensively. And uh, Buffalo Bulls' reputation precedes them, averaging 17 turnovers a game, already five in the game. Well on their way to double figures. Jordan working against Manigault. And Manigault picks up the foul. I mean, man, he obviously was bailed out with a foul there. But that, that's just as, just as bad as a turnover. It won't show up on the stat sheet as a turnover. But a bad shot in many respects is just as bad as a turnover. It starts fast, breaks. Guys are out of position. The Buffalo Bulls, 75% of their possess possessions have been trying to take guys off the bounce. It was too much one-on-one. -on -one. They have to move the basketball, get some, some back screens, side ball screens. It's a good opportunity here for Manigold, the freshman from Maryland, only 19 minutes total coming into this game, and that ball knocked out of bounds, and it will be Panther basketball. You see Chris Jones talking to Kevin Stallings. Chris Jones, one of the few bright spots the other night against Duquesne. And there's a turnover on the Panthers. So turnover for Pitt with a 30 to 7 lead. Well, I think the, the, the lead is reflective of the, the team they have out on the floor right now. You won't see this lineup very often. Hamilton gets the roll on the jump shot from the foul line. Quickly come the Panthers the other way with Kithcart. So Kithcart and Milligan in at the same time. Jones and Jeter, the only starters. Milligan drives to Jones. Jones, Kithcart for three. No good. Rebound to Buffalo. Here comes Jordan the other way. Jordan high stepping down the court. Kicks it out to Hamilton. Hamilton's three is well short. Rebound to Manigault. Just a bad shot. Fading away. No rhythm. Hamilton takes a lot of shots. Jeter for three. Nice clean look. Panthers, go, five of seven. If you're going to dribble the ball, you dribble the purpose. Milligan did a nice job of getting ball penetration and kick out for a wide open jump shot. It was Jeter. Hamilton misses that, but an easy rebound and put back for Perkins. That's what's encouraging for the Panthers, too, is they're maintaining and building a lead without Artisan Young in the game. Yes, I'm sure Coach Stallings would like to see more of that. Hamilton drives, foul and a three-point opportunity. So Hamilton gets the continuation. Foul on Kithcart. Nice inside crossover by Hamilton. Got hacked in the act. Nice Good finish. defense by Jones in front. We see Milligan and Manigault check out along with Kithcart. And the Panthers are back to their starting lineup. You think about artists being out for a game, and obviously a lot of times you come back, you're anxious to get into the flow of the game, and you take forced bad shots. He's done a nice job tonight, as you see Chris Jones throw a bad pass, but Artis done a nice job of letting the game come to him. The crowd screaming, they thought it was a walk, but nonetheless, nice finish. 
Finish for Dante Carruthers. Young is, uh, I'm sorry, Artis has only taken one shot tonight. He knocked that down. One for one for three. The lead cut to 17. It's been a bit of a run for the Bulls. Young, Jones, Jones fouled. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Panthers lead by 17, and here's a look at this turnover for the Panthers. Oh, they may have called that a travel in the NBA. Uh, maybe get, not. <laughs> you get four plus one in the NBA. <laughs> I don't even think LeBron would get that one. That plus one is depending on whether you're playing at home or not. <laughs> <laughs> Free throw good for Jones. Chris Jones with five. Same, now six. Jones, now seven. Peter has seven, and Luther has seven. Hamilton, the leading scorer for the Bulls, also with seven points. Crossover by Jordan. Kick out. Three pointer. No good. Rebound to Jeter. Artis. Stop. Pop. There. He's back. Artist two of two. Nice pull up. The ball is just sticking too much in one guy's hands. You see a lot of times where Jordan seems to get caught either in the air or not knowing where to go. Quickly, it's a three on one. Johnson drives the lane and finishes. It is all Panthers. Well executed. Three on one fast break. Had options. Chose the right one. Bulls work it around the perimeter. Good drive and the ball falls for Jordan. Jordan. First field goal. Bulls four and four on the season. Panthers six and two. Both teams coming off a loss. As Jamel Artis drives, loses control off the rim, or off the backboard rather, and here comes Carruthers. Carruthers kicks. Three for Perkins. Perkins is a big boy who loves to sit out at the perimeter. Well, he faked. <laughs> he had a wide open look and he faked. No one was there and took a tough shot. Wasn't able to knock it down. Chris Jones, Young, crossover. Young's going to drive. Righty hook shot by Mike Young. Makes it look so easy. When they're falling, they're falling. And Young joins the group at seven points. Hamilton the kick. Bulls drive, good move by Jordan. It rolls out, but a chance for two at the line. So at the line will be the Bulls, but it's been the Panthers as we see them run the court, and they're running on the Bulls early. We'll need you guys to redo all that work. Oh, that's, okay. that's not good, no. Whatever it takes. We're really running into some oh, issues here. What? What? Yeah! Woo! Can you believe this? You know you're not on mute, right? It's Michael Young, one of three Panthers who has yet to miss a shot. We see there the three Curtis, but he's a very versatile player. He really is. He can give it to you inside out as you start to knock down the three and step back here inside. Good separation. 
Nice step back. Mike Young with seven points. Same with Chris Jones, same with Sheldon Jeter, and same with Ryan Luther. Cam Johnson leads with eight. It's something we have not seen in any game this year for the Panthers is this type of balanced scoring. It's really balanced scoring, and you talk about your one-two punch starting off there. Five for five from the field. I actually thought Artis missed a shot, but they must have called it a uh, a, a pass or a, a loose ball that he uh, didn't recover. But in any event, both of those guys combined five for five from the field, and they're getting a lot of help from their not necessarily their uh, <clears throat> guys like um, excuse me Cam Johnson, but they're getting help from guys like Sheldon Jeter, who's really been struggling from the field, 29 percent on the year so far, but it's really nice to see him get off to a nice start. Second free throw goes down, it's 41-18. 10 assists on the 15 baskets for the Panthers so far. Pitch shooting 75% to 35 for the Bulls. And realistically, the Panthers have a chance to match their scoring from the Duquesne game. They had 55 for the whole game. Have a chance to do that here in the first half. As Artis turns it over. A lot of high stepping from Jordan. Where are you going, son? See the handoff to McKenzie. McKenzie will try the high arcing three. No good, good box out by Cam Johnson. Pitt with the starting lineup. Jeter, three, no good. And a rebound to Chris Jones. Buffalo's been a pretty good rebounding team this year. And the Panthers are a plus 11 so far in the first half. And a number of those have come on the offensive glass. Jones drives, lefty shot right there. Good ball movement and cut by Jones. Massenburg. He can, he can fill it up. Jordan's going to drive, has it knocked away in a foul call on the Panthers on Chris Jones. The this ball movement from the Panthers, Curtis. I was just going to say, you give credit not to the player to score the ball, but just the excellent ball movement as you see Cam Johnson with the nice pocket pass. You look at Jordan, I mean, he, he's obviously very fast and explosive with the basketball. I'm just surprised he's just so out of control. And I say that from the standpoint where well, you got a guy like Lindsey Hunter, their assistant coach, 15-year player in the NBA, actually coached the NBA team at the, with the uh, uh, Phoenix, Phoenix Suns. Suns. I mean, a wealth of knowledge about playing that point guard position. This kid is only a freshman, so he's going to be a much different player at the end of the year than he is now. He has a lot to learn right now, and I'm sure Lindsey Hunter is going to be that guy Over to the help back. take him to the next level. On Johnson. In terms of his play, I don't mean the next level of the NBA. Yeah, the, the immediate buy in for these players on Buffalo, Lindsey Hunter, nearly 8,000 points in the NBA. He didn't just get into the NBA because he played at a big school no. and he had to work his way Quite the contrary. all the way. And then when he got there, he had to work just as hard to stay there. Quality person as well. Had an opportunity to chat with him before the game. He is, his son is a dynamic player. In fact, he has a couple sons. He has one son that I know because he's the same age as my son. That's a junior. His son's a sophomore. My son's a junior. Went to camp together. But he has a son that actually just signed with UCLA. So he's some players in his family. Sort of like my family. You can't eat unless you play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Panthers lead 45-19. Good look down low in the finish by Perkins. First solid possession for the Buffalo Bulls so far. Perkins did a nice job of sealing, sealing Jeter off to get that easy bucket. And after starting the last game, it's the first time we've seen Damon Wilson in tonight. Turnaround by Artis. No good. Ball kicked out and controlled by Wilson over to Jones. New shot clock, Artis approaching another milestone in his Panther career. And a foul down low on the Bulls. 
and I'm not just saying this because of the score. I'm looking at the game, and, I, and I'm, I'm dissecting what the Panthers are doing. They're doing a great job offensively. They're moving, with, they're moving the ball with a purpose. When they put it, on, put it on the floor, they're getting in the lane with the purpose of trying to find other guys. They're setting solid screens. They're running their sets really well. Luther makes the free throw. Changes as Hamilton comes in, and so does Kithcart. McKenzie sits down along with Jamel Artis. How solid has Luther been? Very good. Ten points leading all scorers. Now one fourth shot. That's why I like him. He lets the game come to him. Another good look down low and taking advantage of the opportunity plus the foul on Manigault. A couple of good possessions were a good look down low into Perkins. Man to go to realize sometimes that you just got to let a guy go if he has position on you. And if you're going to foul, make sure that it's not a three-point opportunity for the young man. Perkins doing a nice job of sealing off on a, on a low post and creating that target for the guards to throw it over the top. Perkins has got to feel like he's hungry. He's coming off a career-high 24 against St. Bonaventure. Wilson, Kithar, Manigault, Jones, and Luther. Manigault, the runner, doesn't get the roll. Rebound to the Bulls, and quickly Massenburg finds Perkins, who slams it home. No, one starter on the floor, and he's got the ball. Jones, and a turnover. But before that, an offensive foul on Chris Jones, his second. If you didn't call it offensive foul, he turned it over anyway, threw it in the stands. Panthers lead by 21. You see the good Jones <laughs> with the layup. When you find something worth waiting for, we'll help you invest to protect it for the future. Financial guidance while you're mastering life. From Chase, so you can. Men need to prepare themselves. Nivea Men Cream. Super fast absorbing and non-greasy. Nivea makes you feel good in your skin. Nivea Men Cream. Crafted just for you. Nivea Men. It starts with you. Get your free sample at NiveaMenUSA.com. It's been a blowout here in Pittsburgh as the Panthers lead by 19, and they're doing it, Curtis, thanks to scoring from guys other than Artis and Young. Well, these other guys say, Coach Stones, you want some consistency? How about this? You can't get any more consistent than this. Ryan Luther obviously doing a great job off the bench, but the other three guys are starters that stepped up. We know what Artis and Young can do. I'd like to see a little more of this on a consistent basis. How about the five assists from Ryan Luther, the inbound for the Bulls. They're now up to shooting 42%, but the Panthers shooting 67. And they've done that, the Bulls have, by going inside. We'll see if they continue to try to feed Perkins as the double team came. Three-pointer for Massenburg right there. C.J. Massenburg with five. Be surprised what happens when you move the ball. Get open looks. Panthers lead 18. Panthers with their starting lineup in. Jones, three. In and out. Rebound to Jordan. Jordan leads the break quickly. Hamilton comes. And a foul on Cam Johnson down low. Buffalo will go to the line. Last few possessions for the Buffalo Bulls. Jordan's done a much better job of pushing the ball up with his head up.
Connor, as you see the number right there, still looking for a first point. And if Buffalo were gonna, was going to be in this game, they needed Connor. They really did. And I, that was the matchup I was looking forward to seeing. Artis and Connor, however, Connor hasn't showed up yet. First bucket of the day. Cuts the lead to 17. 47 to 30. Near turnover for the Panthers. 15 on the shot clock for Pitt. Young, right there. Michael Young with nine. He's four of four from the floor. But Perkins is just not used to someone that size being able to step back beyond the three and knock it down with regularity. Coach Oates told, told us that they may not face two better players in the country in any game they play this year than Artis and Young. And some of his, as we showed you with the graphic, some of his other guys have stepped up. Three from Johnson. No good. And good rebound from Hamilton. So Panthers have cooled off a bit. Bulls trying to get back in this one before halftime. Three for Massenburg. That helps. The lead down to 16. You see Nate Oates there encouraging his team in the final 111 of the first half. Artis, turn around. No good. as we see flops on both <laughs> sides, and neither of them called. And now this lead down to 14, and the Panthers are going to call timeout. Well, that, that timeout. This timeout here is going to be dedicated to getting some someone to stop the ball and can't allow the Buffalo Bulls to take the ball from one end of the court to the other with no one stopping the ball. It's a 14-2 run for Buffalo as Nate Oates trying to buy the call earlier. But he's got to be pleased his team has cut it into 14, and now you get into halftime, and it's not without the realm of possibility of being able to come back. Earlier it was a 23-point lead. Now at 14, good, strong finish to the first half, and what did the Panthers do against Duquesne, Curtis? Struggled into halftime as Duquesne went on a run in that city game. They, they did, and in large part due to the fact that Mike Young wasn't on top of his game and he really got no supporting help other than Chris Jones. Today is a different story. Everyone's contributing on the offensive end. I think they just got a little lax on defense, and I'm sure, as I mentioned, Coach Stallings spent a lot of time talking about defense during that timeout. Inbound for the Panthers. Under a minute to go here in the first half. Artist Young, three, short, and out of bounds to Buffalo. You see a substitution, Luther, in for Young. Now Young playing with two fouls, so they don't want him to pick up a third. Kithcart checks in for Jones, who also has two. Very important possession for the Buffalo Bulls. I want to say Bills like you, buddy. <laughs> they got the Pittsburgh Steelers this weekend. An interesting matchup considering these teams playing and then on Sunday a huge AFC matchup between the Bills and Steelers. Well, I say this is a big possession because you want to go into the game feeling good about yourself. Uh, can't feel any better than that. Big crossover from Hamilton. Lead down to 12. Yeah, Hamilton and Perkins have stepped it up. Jamel big, Artis. Big possession for the Panthers as well. And the double team coming back door to Luther, who gets hammered down low. Hamilton had to do it, his second. Yeah. The difference is when you foul, you want to make sure that <laughs> there's not an opportunity for a three-point play. You don't want to hurt anybody, but you want to definitely make sure that he can't get this shot off. With good look, good hard foul. Yep. And Luther misses the free throw. 2.9 to go. Someone has to step the ball, if it, stop the ball, I should say, if the ball goes in the basket. Can't allow a clean look. And misses that. Rebound control. Massenburg from half court. 
Well, that was right on target, just a little short. I don't think it would have counted. The lead cut to a dozen, but the Panthers 49 here in the first half with a lot of different guys scoring. Jeter with the slam, and the Panthers also getting work from Ryan Luther. 12-point lead for Pitt over Buffalo. Bro, this stuff is on fire. So I'm going to call the fire department. Woo! State Farm knows that for every one of those moments, there's one of these. Bro, your stuff is on fire. Someone better call the fire department. Uh, yeah, you should call the fire department. This is your stuff. More people save money by combining their home and auto with State Farm. Here to help life go right. It was a magical year for the Pitt Panthers, beating Penn State at home. James Conner scoring the touchdown. And even the big guys got involved. As you see the throwback uniforms, Brian O'Neill with the lineman's dream. As you see him out running Georgia Tech into the end zone. Panthers also with the big night in Clemson. Chris Blue at the field goal, and the Panthers are going bowling after beating the number two team in the country. We are joined by Panthers Athletic Director Scott Barnes here courtside at the Peterson Event Center. Really, uh, what a special year, some special memories for this Pitt team. Well, unbelievable when you think about uh, the 76 points against Syracuse or a win at number two Clemson. Uh, Penn State rivalry, first time in 15 plus years. Those were really big moments. It's uh, it's been a lot of fun, and, and then the losses, the close losses, uh, in some cases agonizing losses. Overall, though, uh, what a tremendous step forward. Same number of wins, regular season, stronger conference, yeah, it, stronger schedule. Yeah, and it feels like a better eight wins for no the question. Panthers. Yeah, yeah, just, a, you know, Oklahoma State, the, the losses were two top 20 teams and, and uh, whatnot, so definitely progress is being made. As an athletic director, you deal with a lot of athletes, what has it been like to have James Conner represent this university? Well, he's a, uh, a special young man in that uh, from the very uh, the very first time he, he, he learned of the cancer, it was all about how can I help other people, right? And I think that that is a testimony to who he is. Uh, he, he walks that uh, every single day. He walks his talk, and uh, he, he's a great leader, and he will be – successful in whatever he does, does in life because that foundation is there. And there is another opportunity for you to see the Panthers in the Pinstripe Bowl coming up, the Panthers and Northwestern. And it's two teams that are, are fairly equal, both city schools, both very proud of their academic heritage as well. No doubt, and, and it'll be a great match, a Big Ten matchup. Uh, uh, we have played twice in our history in Yankee Stadium. Uh, we're one and one, so let's let's just get let's get this thing flipped, and we'll be two and one going out. And as you saw, you can go to PittsburghPanthers.com to inquire about bowl packages. And I know tickets are, are going pretty quick. Very well, we're over 75 percent sold. Um, so uh, hurry, I want to see you there. What a great opportunity to spend a Christmas season in um, New York, and uh, they'll take great care of our student athletes as well. Panthers athletic director Scott Barnes, thank you for Thanks your so much, time. Yeah, it's been a heck of a first half here for the Panthers as well. Ryan Luther uh, leading the, the Panthers, the leading scorer, the really as we've seen him do it I'm inside and outside. And Luther driving the lane and scoring, using the pen and, and also the hitting the three. Luther I with 11, the Panthers mustache. lead by 12. <laughs> To those caked in flour, coated in dust, even covered in lava. To all the beautiful mess makers, keep it up. With Delta Touch 2O technology, you can. See what Delta can do. Next time on the We Know Game Show, hey yo, Antonio Brown. You know I got my champ sports, so I need a big favor. I need you to bless the We Know Game Show while I go take care of my beautiful son. I love you, son. I got you, my brother. We got a special guest, Hector Montez. He doesn't even know what he's here for. A.B., I need you to go in there. I'm going to give you the key. I need you to do that cloth talk with the We Know Game Show. You know how we do it. Hold me up. Welcome back to the Peterson Event Center as we see the kids getting an opportunity to play on the floor. 
There's some other kids playing, a little bit older though, college basketball across the country as we look at the scores from out of town. Louisville, 11 point halftime lead over Southern Illinois. Harvard, 16 points up on Boston College. Georgia Tech leads VCU at halftime. Maryland Eastern Shore, Virginia Tech, and Davidson, North Carolina, just a bit later. Plenty of opportunity for you to see the Panthers on ESPN. Wrestling against West Virginia coming up on Saturday. Then we have men's basketball a week from Saturday, actually on Friday, a week from Saturday. Rice is here, then Nebraska, Omaha. That pinstripe bowl against Northwestern, two o'clock on Wednesday, and it's a doubleheader with Marshall here at the Peterson Event Center, all on ESPN. As we continue, halftime highlights and stats. It's 12 point lead for Pitt. Remember when everything you did was for the fun of doing it? BMW Sports Activity Vehicles are the perfect combination of ample space, dynamic power, and sleek design. You can go wherever the fun takes you. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Lease a BMW X3 for $409 a month. Is that iced tea? Nope, it's lemonade. Is that iced tea? Lemonade. Iced tea? It's with these people, man. Lemonade. Read the sign. Lemonade. Read it. Okay. Delicious. Iced tea at a lemonade stand? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much money Marin saved by switching to Geico. Oh, iced tea. It's lemonade, man. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Welcome back to the Peterson Event Center. Panthers lead at 49-37 over Buffalo. Jeff Hathorne and Curtis Aiken with the call here in the Peterson Event Center. Really an interesting first half because the Panthers really came out strong following that loss in the city game. Well, at least offensively, they came out clicking on all cylinders and everybody got involved in the act. Luther, Luther um, came off the bench, bench and really contributed leading the team right now to scoring with 11 points and uh, you know really balanced scoring throughout the Panthers but however the last seven to eight minutes of the first half little rocky defensively and uh, got lax I should say and gave up some easy buckets and you saw Buffalo able to get that ball inside but for the Panthers it wasn't just artists and young it was guys like Ryan Luther well I mentioned uh, Luther and Luther showing his versatility here as he gets to the, to the rim and finish off the glass and steps out and knocks down a three but he's made some really good decisions on the offensive end we're not going to show that right now but offensively did a nice job of distributing the basketball and Chris Jones was fantastic early in the ball game really aggressive going to the rim there and you see a what I would consider to be an and one. The rest let it go, but nice find by Cam Johnson. And again, Chris Jones finishing with the left hand. Excellent job of attacking the rest. The balance scoring for the Panthers here in the first half. The rebounds a plus eight for Pitt. The assists a plus five. You see a number of turnovers. Buffalo had some early, but they really got it going in the second half. And what impressed you about Buffalo as they got back in this game to cut it to a dozen? Well, I, I talked about it early on in the ball game. Everything was sticking. They passed the ball, and one guy, the, the, the ball was just sticking. It wasn't moving. Later in the, uh, the second half, they did a much better job of getting spacing, which is important when you're running any kind of set. But they did an excellent job of getting the ball inside to Perkins, and Perkins did the rest by doing a good job in, in the interior against Mike Young and and uh, Sheldon Jeter, yeah. I should say. And having Massenburg back in the game also helped. We saw him contribute with eight points. The leading score for the Bulls, 11 points for Hamilton. As we see, that stat, that is something, if you haven't followed Pitt, that you haven't seen. <laughs> 35 points for the rest of the team. And Artisan Young with just 14, which is 180 from what you've seen. It, it really is. But I think if you're Coach Dollars, you're okay with that because that shows – balance and that shows consistency and you don't want the load to always be on one or two guys. Panthers huddling up before the start of the second half. Hamilton 11 points for the Bulls, 9 for Perkins and 8 for Massenburg and at one point Buffalo was shooting in the low 20s. They shot 48 percent in the first half. Panthers 59 percent in the first half. We see that huddle. If you're Nate Oates, how do you get these guys to continue that going forward here to start the second half? Well, it's just all about energy and effort and, and making good, solid decisions on the offensive end. And from an energy and effort standpoint, defensively, they really stepped it up at the end of the half. And from an intelligence and basketball IQ, they did a much better job of making good decisions the, the, uh, the latter part of the, the first half, I should say. And you see that run to end the half, 16-2. to two. If you're a Panther, does anything about this run remind you of what happened Friday night and the run Duquesne made to get back in the game? 
It, it does, but the difference is you got other players involved on the offensive end, so I don't, I don't think that's too much on their mind. They just they understand offensively they can really get what they want. They just need to move the basketball and be patient. It will be Buffalo basketball to start the second half. We see the Panthers going with their starting lineup. As Perkins stands in front of us, I knew he was a big boy, but I didn't know he was put together like that. He's the a man. large man. We saw a lot of pressure early from the Panthers. Then they backed off, and we're seeing some trap here early on to start the second half. We are underway here in Pittsburgh. A 12-point lead for the Panthers. Hamilton, Connor, Jordan, Perkins, and Smart. A three for Connor. No good, but an offensive rebound and a good spin back inside by the Bulls. I think we got a ball game here, Jeff. And now we're down to 10. Here we go, Panthers! Here we go! Here we go, Panthers! Here we go! Here we go! Young guarded by Perkins. Turnaround, a wild shot and a foul on Perkins. Wow, he bailed him out on that. Forced him into a tough shot. Should have just held his ground with his hand straight up. There's number two on Perkins. You see head coach Kevin Stallings shouting out some instructions. Jason Richards, one of the young bright minds of college basketball coaching, getting involved. Does a good job with the kids. There's a rarity too. Michael Young, who is in top 10 in many categories in the ACC, including free throw shooting. He misses the free throw. That's three straight misses for Pitt. That streak broken right there. A token 1-3-1 one, one. full court press. They'll fall back into a man-to-man. -man. Jordan gets it to Connor. Just as I say, they fall back into a man-to-man. -man. They stay 1-3-1. One, one. And look down low to Perkins. Perkins shuffles his feet. Not a bad strategy by Coach Stallings because I think one of the things that really hurt him that first half is Jordan was getting into the lane and started distrib distributing the basketball and finding guys that 1-3-1 one, one to keep him out of the lane. Force guys to shoot the ball from the perimeter. Artist. Jeter from the side. Sheldon Jeter with nine. Good look by Connor. Hamilton's going to take that. And it goes around and out, but another good offensive rebound. Perkins really come to play here in the last 10 minutes or so. Good rebound by Jeter. It's a good rebound, bad shot by Perkins. Lead back up to 13. Spin move by Artis. Artis. And out of bounds. A turnover for the Panthers. Trying to do a little too much. Nine turnovers on the Panthers. And that's not something we thought we'd see is that Pitt would have more than Buffalo. Came in averaging 17 a game. And the bunny missed by Smart. Well, you're trying to make that comeback and you miss those bunnies are, are killers. And a near turnover, but a foul call. And we saw Nate Oaks walk out past the coach's line to protest that call. I don't know, I have to see that one in, in replay because it looked like a good strip live. The referees had a little better angle than we did, Jeff. Inbound for Pitt. Drive by Jones, and he lays it up and in. No one cut off the dribble. He lowered his shoulder and just got to the rim with no opposition. Tip by Pitt. Good tip by Johnson. Artis drives, layup, up and in for Jamel Artis. Cam Johnson did a nice job with that, that length. Standing at 6'7". It's a nice basket for Artis. We'll tell you why coming up. Perkins, the drive and the lefty. Nice. And Perkins, really impressive, 11 points. That was a design play there for Perkins. They ran a one four high and dropped him to the box, so he had an iso. And now Smart picks up his second foul. That was not Smart! He 
Artis. That's how you were, that play the Panthers made to get it to Artis. And Artis able to finish for point six and seven. Panther inbound. Oh, wide open, Mike Young, who misses the layup. Ball knocked around over to the Bulls. Jordan drives that miss, <laughs> rebounded time. by an upset Young. Artis, jumper, short. I'm okay with that pull up and transition. Zone for the Panthers. And it's a tough zone when you have a big guy like Artis out there on top. Perkins, red hot here for the Bulls. Bulls hanging in here after being down big early. Johnson drives. And a three-point opportunity. NBA for Cam Johnson. <laughs> Looks like he has some, like he has a cramp here. There wasn't much contact for him to get hurt. He's fine, he's up walking around. As Mike Young checks out, Ryan Luther in. One shot, Cam Johnson. 15 point league, Cam Johnson trying to finish the three point play and become the third Panther with 11 points. <laughs> Substitution for the Bulls. Q McKenzie checks in. Inbound and Coach, pressure. Sixteen-point lead for the Panthers. Bulls with Carruthers. Deep three from Massenburg. We've seen the range from Massenburg. Now three of three from beyond the arc. Tough shot. Down low to Luther. Luther lefty, no good. This is the layup. Massenburg trying to cut into that 13 point lead. Oh, a near travel call, but nothing called. Drive by. Collins rejected by the Panthers. Quickly the other way is Jones. Jeter, as Johnson and Artis were in the same spot. Good job by Chris Jones to slow it up and get into the set. Kick out to Luther. Luther cut off of the baseline. 10 on the shot clock. Jones from three. No good. And skying for the rebound is Raheem Johnson. Good look down low and a foul on Jones. Jones is third, and a foul on the Panthers down low. It is a 13-point lead for Pitt as we see the foul call on Jones. We'll be back with more here in Pittsburgh. 36 hours ago, you were Jeff and Susan. Now, you're mom and dad. But you've got this. You read the baby manuals, you baby-proofed the house, bought yourself a safe SUV, and you're totally ready for this. Right? The Mazda CX-5. Buy one, get one wings are the best. And I love the taste of free. To me, it tastes like my garlic Parmesan wings. Really? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. I'm just eating the free one, no harm. Free tastes pretty good with buy one, get one wings Monday through Thursday, 5 p.m. to close. This is how you Sonic. Panther fans will remember this man from Kentucky, Jerron Brown. Rocking the headband, Curtis. How can you forget him? He was the heartbeat of the team back in 2000. 
threes, right? He would score from anywhere. Little guy who could get offensive rebounds, putbacks, and now he's looking up, literally and figuratively, at Jamel Artis, who just passed Jerron Brown in the 23rd spot in the all-time scoring list. He has Chevy Troutman in his sights, and you see Mike Young ahead of him with a little ways to go before reaching Lamar Patterson. Congrats to Jamel Artis as he continues to climb the all-time scoring list al along with Young. McKenzie makes the free throw to cut the lead to 12. Checking in for the Bulls is Perkins. And a good night for Perkins. 13 points, three boards. And that free throw rolls in. The lead 11, plenty of time. Well, every time you think that the Panthers got some true separation, go, Buffalo Bulls Let's make a run. Johnson thought about that coming off the screen. Artis open. In and out. Rebound to Perkins. Ball knocked away. Turnover. Good steal by the Panthers. Johnson runs into Luther, bad spacing, but a good look down low. Young had it knocked out of bounds, 22 on the clock. Buffalo's really scrapping in the interior every time Young gets the ball on the, on the block, they're pinching down. Seven players in double figures in this game, including the man who just had the basketball, Young. Young, jumper, right there. Young with a dozen, the Panthers' lead is a Baker's dozen. Quickly breaking the pressure are the Bulls. Four and four on the year. This is six straight on the road and a good look down low by Perkins. We said coming off 24 points. Young didn't want to pick up his third foul. Artis looking, looking, patient, unable to finish. And now those shots that went down for the Panthers are rimming out, and the Bulls are making a run. Perkins slams it home, and the lead under double digits for the first time since way early in this game. Let's see how the Panthers respond. I think they're getting a little jump shot happy, although Artis missed a wide open layup. They see a lot of jump shots. Drive by Artis, and he finishes. Right, get the ball to the rim. And whistle. Had an issue with Jones. I think we're gonna, everything's gonna be all right. Some substitutions here. Kith card in. And Sheldon Jeter. Sixty-three fifty-two. as we see McKenzie and Nate Oates talking. Oates in his second season with the Bulls. Going to the NCAA tournament in his first. He's an assistant under Coach Hurley. Good look down low. Ball kicked and will be Bulls basketball. Hurley left to go to Arizona State. Coach Oates was telling us he thought he might go with them. But when he got offered the head coaching job, <laughs> just two years out of coaching in high school, it's an opportunity he couldn't pass up, and he made the most of his first year. Really did. Perkins down low. And a good follow <laughs> by Q. McKenzie finishes. We're back to a nine-point game. Buffalo's doing a really nice job on the offensive glass. Jones off the screen. And a turnover by Jones. Oh. Quickly comes Jordan the other way. And a foul by Jones. He throws it up, unable to get it to go. Two shots for Jordan. That's his fourth. 
So foul trouble for Jones. We'll see a substitution with Jamel Artis coming in. That is as flat foot a free throw as you will see. <laughs> Jordan makes it makes it happen. Make it happen, Devontae! <laughs> and it rolls in. Jordan six points, five assists. He's one of the top freshmen in the country, averaging six assists a game. And we do indeed, Curtis, have a basketball game here. Yes, sir. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, Let's go. Artists way out of control and nobody there to rebound. To Ruthers, to Jordan. And you could feel the confidence from the Bulls right now. Jordan drives, gets caught in the air, but finds Perkins plenty on the shot clock. Panthers man-to-man. -man. Jordan drives, lefty shot no good, but a follow by McKenzie. The last three buckets came off of second chance opportunities. Absolutely get, destroying him on the offensive glass. Panthers lead five. Luther drives. Oh, good drive by Luther, but he can't finish. Comes Connor, misses the shot and a rebound to Kithcart. Five point game. So a pair of point guards really on the floor right now for the Panthers and Artis and Kithcart against this Buffalo team that's feeling it right now. Deep three, Cam Johnson. Big shot. Big shot. Lead back to eight, Johnson 14 points on the night. Drive by Jordan, ball knocked out of bounds. Off the Panthers. So Buffalo has climbed back in this game. They are down eight, thanks to some good work down low. Specifically, Perkins finishing, hit up by eight. The Oakland Zoo Holiday Pack makes the perfect gift for any fan. Choose from four home games, including Pitt against Notre Dame on New Year's Eve and an official Oakland Zoo t-shirt starting at 35 bucks. Check it out at pittsburghpanthers.com. Panthers lead reduced to eight, Curtis, as we see Kevin Stallings with the guys. Well, I'm sure one of the things he's talking about is boxing out. <clears throat> Excuse me, right now, the Buffalo Bulls have six offensive rebounds and I will venture to say five of the six of those converted into buckets. You got to do a better job of boxing out, and all five guys have to stay home. You can't leak out because they have five guys crash, crashing the boards. Panthers back to their starting lineup with Kithcart. They need to find a way to stop that guy. Nick Perkins, 15 points on 7 of 13 shooting. Hamilton from deep. Wow. Hamilton hits the three, and we haven't heard much from Blake Hamilton. It's a timely three, though. I talked about Cam Johnson hitting a big three. His first of the game. A big one there. So big minutes for the freshman Kithcart. He's out there to run the show, not looking to score the basketball. Artist. He's solid on the defensive end. And a foul call. That's on Jordan. His second foul. That's another freshman. But Jordan's played a lot more time 
And I don't think he agrees with that call. He's played a lot more time than what Kithcart has for the Panthers. Artis at the line. Well, Jordan is doing a nice job defensively. I mean, he's given up a lot of size. 6'2 versus 6'7. He's doing a nice job. He's just bailing them out by reaching in at the end. Pitts doing everything they can to find a way to keep them in this game. That free throw down. And quickly comes Hamilton. He's just going to bull his way down low. The ball knocked off of the Panthers. Well, you saw Hamilton just kind of put his head down and decide he was going to go to the hoop. Inbounds for the Bulls. And Perkins, who has been a man here in the second half, misses that shot. Ball knocked around, out of bounds, off the Bulls. Kept it alive again. Panther lead is six. And Buffalo realized, you know what, Jeff, we can play with these guys. Panthers one led by 26. And holding away from the ball. That's the first foul on Massingburg. And that's the sixth for Buffalo. One more in there in the bonus. And Nate Oates, one of the issues, turnovers and fouls. <laughs> yes. Let's go, Pittsburgh. Down low to Young. Pittsburgh. Young. Let's go, Gets it back. Iso. And a flop. And the lefty layup for Mike Young. Young with 14. So Hamilton, Connor, Jordan, Massenberg, and Perkins. And you see Perkins get it there and a foul. Well, that's all Cam Johnson could do. He gave up the position. Actually a good foul, but on the other end, Young did a nice job of demanding the basketball. Nice ISO clear out. The ref wasn't buying it. Nice easy layup. That's a man at Hamilton that goes 6'6", 205. Good look down low, and there is Hamilton. He finishes at the rim. It's a six-point game. That was just as easy as Mike Young on the other end. With the exception of the Gardner-Webb game, all the games here at the Peterson Event Center have been a battle for Pitt. Fifth cart, Young. Five on the shot clock. You may hear the zoo behind us. Young blocked nice block. by Perkins. Massenberg's going to drive the entire way, and Young blocks it out of bounds. I'll but the foul on Kithcart down low. So Kithcart picks up his second foul, and the Bulls are working their way back into this game. It's a six-point game, as you see the finish from Young. Five days. Punch it. For family. Trust the force. For honor. Make ten men feel like a hundred. For each other. Are you with me? All the way. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Rated PG-13. United States Postal Service, we deliver more online purchases to homes than anyone else in the country. And more hippopotamuses, too. So whatever your holiday priority, our priority is you. Winter is upon us, and the official Panthers team store is your destination for new Pitt Script long sleeve shirts and jackets. Check out all the new Pitt Script gear by shopping online at PittsburghPanthers.com or visit us inside the lobby of the Peterson Events Center. It is that season. Boy, you can feel it out there right now here in Pittsburgh. High 30s in the temperature, a little wind. <laughs> Buffalo people are hearing that and thinking that's tropical. You're from Buffalo, you know. No question. Imagine that first winter you were down here and we started complaining about snow in Pittsburgh. You must have thought, what? 
Yeah, a couple inches you guys complaining about. <laughs> we get them in feet. <laughs> Loved it as a kid, though. And two free throws for Massenburg, who in his first game of the season made quite a splash for the Bulls. Jeff, you pointed out this Buffalo team is playing with a lot more confidence on both ends of the floor. Look at that defensive ball pressure and intensity they're playing with this second half. Perkins playing with two, and really no one in foul trouble except Hamilton, who has three. Raheem Johnson has three as well for the Panthers. Four for Jones, and no one else with more than two. Inbounds for Jamel Artis, 14 on the clock. And lead down to four. Ten, nine, eight. Johnson. Johnson. No good, good position by Luther. Ball knocked out of bounds. Pitt basketball. But Luther worked that position very well. Really did, and Cam Johnson doesn't usually miss open looks like that, but that's the one kid, if he's on this side of the court, he's in range. <laughs> and in to Young, Young able to collect, head fake, and ball off the side of the backboard. Here come the Bulls with numbers. Massenburg can't leave him open, and open down low for a second was Perkins, but Massenburg unable to get him the ball. Well, now all of a sudden they're making good decisions, and if you're the coaching staff at Buffalo, you have to be happy. They only have eight turnovers on the night, averaging 17 turnovers for the season. That's a third foul on Mike Young. <laughs> Young just got caught out of position here and probably better served to let him go. Need Young on the court. So Massenburg goes to the line. Two of two on the game, 13 points. Missed the entire season until now with Mono. We talked about how he exploded during the exhibition game. It was 36 points. And uh, he obviously has some offensive skills in terms of being able to put the ball in the basket. He's named to the Mac All Freshman team last season. And that one's deep, but fighting for the rebound are the Bulls, but controlled by the Panthers. It's a one possession game. Luther the screen for Jones. Jones playing with four fouls. Picks up his dribble. Johnson with 10 on the shot clock. And Artis fouled by Jordan. Jordan not afraid to show his emotions out there. <laughs> Tough kid. You see a definite body. Just a little late. Not bad anticipation, but just a little late. I don't know if he was saying, I got there late, that's my fault. Yeah, I think so. And a miss by Artis. Those little things the Panthers aren't doing here in the second half. Finishing at the rim, missed free throws. Yep. That's the front end of a one-on-one. -on -one. Can't always depend on the three-point shot. It's now a one-point game after Perkins finishes. Well executed play. What was a 26 point lead is now one. And the Panthers fans imploring their team. Jeter, that rattles home. Good patience by Jeter. Jeter with 11. Six Panthers in double figures, but the lead only three. And it could be gone, but missing the three is Massenburg. Here comes Artis. Artis. Johnson to extend the lead. Hits it. Good pass by Artis. How do you, how do you lose the best shooter in the gym? I don't care if it's transition or not. You got to find that guy. Jordan's going to drive and picking up the foul is Johnson. That's three. Two here in the second half. 
Johnson, 17 points, three of five shooting from three. Back the Bulls, two, Malik Connor. 35 of the last 41 games, either Jamel Artis or Mike Young have been the leading scorer for the Panthers. And while there's still time for that to happen, this may be one of those rare occurrences it doesn't. McKenzie gets it to Jordan. And you have to stay out there on Hamilton that deep. Perkins wants it. Drive by Hamilton. He throws up a wild shot, but there's Perkins. Perkins is a rebounding machine Strong on, fella. on the offensive end. He finishes the lead of four again. Let's go, Pittsburgh! Let's go, Pittsburgh! Let's go, Pittsburgh! Johnson thought of it. Working against good look down low, and Artis finishes. Cam Johnson, Curtis. Well, he drew the double team because he knocked down the previous three, made the right decision. Used the bounce. Good entry and a good finish by Artis. Six point lead. Good drive, but a miss. Hamilton unable to finish. Gear working against Perkins. Jones drives and gets the foul call. He'll go to the line. Chris Jones with 11, playing with four, but gets the charge call. Panthers lead thanks to that nice pass down low to Artis. Six point advantage for Pitt. How to go live if you're not an athlete, but today you're a winner. Hey, how's your team doing? And by your team, we mean the team whose jersey you own. Good enough for us, because a win's a win. You know what else a win is? A chance to revel in the victory. So pull out your phone, hit this, then this, and go live. Look, this is a big win for you. And now, whether they knew it or not, it's a big win for your friends too. Sweden's greetings. We're bringing more merriment to the holiday season with a special offer on a brand new Volvo. Each comes equipped with standard features, like engine remote start to keep you warm this winter, and built-in Wi-Fi so you stay connected. Wherever your holiday travels may take you, get there in a brand new Volvo. It's our way of wishing you happy holidays this year. Get three months on us when you purchase or lease a new Volvo. Welcome back to the Peterson Event Center. The Panthers' up, upcoming schedule, they're going to play Penn State and Newark on Saturday. Next Saturday, back home to Rice, then Nebraska, Omaha, Marshall, and Notre Dame. The last four you can see on ACC Network. And well, you see these Bulls, Hamilton, Massenburg, and Perkins, who has been really impressive over the last 25 minutes or so. 19, 14, and 16, Curtis. And it has been three guys, although Massenburg we weren't really expecting. We are expecting more from Connor. Yeah, I was just going to say that Connor, uh, obviously not playing really well. He's one for six from the field and just uh, three points in, in total. If, if he could have got into the act, this could have been a, a much different outcome. Uh, it looks like the Panthers may pull this game out. A lot of time left with 355 to go, but when you look at the balance scoring by the Panthers, you got Artis with 12, Luther with 11, Jones with 11, Jeter with 11, and Johnson leading all scores with 17. Panthers coming back with that pressure, which gave the Bulls trouble in the first half. It's a seven-point lead, each team with three timeouts. Panthers back in that zone. Really some of the best defense we've seen from Pitt this year has been in his own. Turnaround from Perkins right there. Jeter, that's a handful. I'm sorry for Luther on that on that block with Perkins one on one. Let's go, Pitt! Let's go, Pitt! Jeter the handoff to Artis. Artis. The lane cut off. Luther to Artis. No young in the game right now. 
Artis, spin, righty, right there. Big shot from Jamel Artis, 14 points. Beautiful turnaround, soft hook. Kind of a jump, jump hook. Down seven. You see that graphic, it's been all bulls here for a majority of, of this game and a turnaround by Perkins. Nothing he can do with that. They say that it's a point in time where you have to give credit to the, to the opponent. Perkins has really been impressive here in the second half the and, and late first half. The only one that stands a chance of defending that is on the bench right now, Mike Young. And uh, he's had his hands full as well trying to defend him. Artis, three ball, short. Goes for his own rebound, knocked out of bounds. And Panther basketball, or excuse me, Buffalo basketball. Guess that's under two they can take a look yeah, at. We're right? 14 seconds from having that looked at, but Mike Young checks in for Luther. And the Bulls will have it down five. You see Kevin Stallings setting his defense. Luther did a nice job. He was just overmatched on that block. See the foul trouble for the Bulls. Jordan, the big one with four. He's not out there right now. Massenberg. And a foul on Jeter. For Jeter, it's two. And the seventh team foul, so free throw opportunities. Well, that's what you don't want to do, give the team an opportunity to score the ball without the clock moving. Under two, five point game. And that misses off the side. So a front end miss, big one for the Bulls. Lead still five. So the Panthers weaving up top. Peter open, thought about that three. 10 on the shot clock. Johnson's going to take the deep three. No good. Rebound controlled by Perkins. Hamilton. Massenberg. That's his shot. No good. Artis hesitated on throwing it deep with just over a minute to go and a five-point lead. If you're the Bulls, do you foul here, Curtis? You almost have to. And there's your answer. Massenberg, just his second foul. He probably fouled the right guy. So the next one will be the double bonus, but this one one on one on one. Jones missed the front end last time he was at the line. And that one rounds out. Buffalo still alive. Here come the Bulls. Panthers have to have a solid defensive stop here. Make free throws down the stretch and they go home with a win. Spin, Hamilton, turnaround. Right there by Hamilton, a timeout by Buffalo. A timeout for the Bulls. Pitt's lead is three. Yes, Steffi to marry me. And I want to keep blessing. <laughs> yeah. No. Give me a few days to win you over. Flemings, I'm going to give you a little love all over your faces. Not sure how to interpret that. I remember being that age, don't you? Always ready. Is that our Christmas card? It says happy holidays. Wait, what? Well, this is a good thing I like Christmas. I think it's going great. I'm getting a little bit of a different vibe. Why him? Hotels.com's rewards program is simple. For every 10 nights I stay, I get one free. Cell phone, Captain Obvious. This, on the other hand, will not be simple. You're going to have to ride the bell. Hotels.com. So simple, it's the obvious choice. I have liquids in my body. 
Last pit field goal was at 3.04. The Panthers lead by three and are inbounding full court pressure coming from the Bulls. And Curtis with 48 seconds to go. What's your strategy if you're Buffalo? It's Wilson. Oh, if you're Buffalo. I mean, you just got to play solid defense. Don't foul. No reason to foul because it's a one possession game at 18 point second. 18.2 second differential between the shot clock and game clock. So you're going to get another opportunity to look. If you're going to foul, Chris Jones shooting just 57% from the line. If you're the Panthers on the other hand, just be patient. Run your stuff. I would try to get an ISO on the block for, for Young, but that's just as good. They got the, they got the roll there because it didn't look like it was going to go in. It was a lucky bounce, but nonetheless, it went down. and. Nice play. Artis scores down low. It's a five-point lead timeout for the Panthers. Each team with two timeouts left. Still 25.7 to go back to a five-point lead. Big hoop for Jamel Artis. 16 points after missing the last game. Now, if you're Buffalo, you just try to get to the rim because you know the Panthers are going to do everything they can not to foul you. So you get to the rim, you get quick two points, and then I would look to foul. Uh, Chris Jones, or perhaps Sheldon Jeter. And you see Artis and Young combining for 43, 13, and six and a half tonight. Artis with 16, Young with 14. They've combined for 11 rebounds and four assists. Solid. But below what you expect from, from that duo, but as you've mentioned, they they're getting a lot more from other guys. They shared the wealth. Down for Buffalo. The trap Perkins, not a three-point shooter. Massenberg with Artis guarding him gets the screen. Kick out from the corner. Three-pointer, no good. Falling down is Colin Connor. No call and a foul there against Mike Young by Hamilton. No reason why you shoot a fallaway jump shot from the corner with a guy six seven closing out on you in a situation like that. You gotta get to the rim. We've seen it must be that something they see in practice. A lot of guys falling to the court for the Bulls. See Coach Stahl is there teaching. Coach Oates. Oates did a great job tonight. He's been through a lot. His wife dealing with lymphoma. But the great news is that she is in remission. He enjoys We're all thinking about Coach Oates. Yes, yeah, he's really enjoyed having her on the road. She's traveled with him the last three or four ball games, including tonight. And there she is, her courageous fight. And when they won the MAC championship, the last string Great story. on the net was cut by her as the team chanted her name. And just an emotional moment and great news for the entire Oates family. Connor three right there. Timeout, it's a three-point game, 4.3 to go. It won't go away, will it? They came to play. This is a team that is road weary. Our <laughs> these Buffalo Bulls looking forward to getting back home. To say the least. This road odyssey that Buffalo has been on has been pretty amazing. Uh, they have traveled some miles, and they'll get home to Coppin State and then Canisius I for like, their next two games. I like the going on that Alaska trip. That yep. sounds pretty cool. Over 9,000 miles. They, they have a graphic that shows their travel, and it looks like what you'd see from a Hub Airline, <laughs> where it shows just going all over the country. They're here in Pittsburgh, a close trip. Have a few fans here. And then they'll head back home for a couple. The Panthers will go to New Jersey and face Penn State on Saturday, and then they're home the rest of the month. It's amazing. The ACC opens, Curtis, at the end of the month. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm looking forward to that. I mean, the first game against Notre Dame, but you know, I'm really impressed with this Buffalo team. Uh, they're going to do very well in their conference, trust me. The inbound to Young. McKenzie picks up the foul as Young goes to the line. An opportunity here to ice it with 2.6 to go. Coach Dahl is looking like, can you, guys, can you make this a little easier for me? It's a wrap. Panthers up four. Luther checks in. Johnson out. 
Another battle here for the Panthers at the Pete. I have a two overtime win against Eastern Michigan and then fellow Max School Buffalo giving them all they could handle after the Panthers got into a lead. Hamilton deep three, no good. And that'll do it. The Panthers improved to seven and two on the season. The Bulls five and four as we see the coaches meet at midcourt. For Curtis Aiken and our outstanding crew. Jeff Hathorne saying so long for Pittsburgh where the final score is Pitt 84, Buffalo 79. To watch this entire game on replay as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks, log on to the Watch ESPN app or watchespn.com. This has been a presentation of ESPN.